Are people going to judge me for wearing the same shirt again? Welcome to another random and more video. It's been so long. I'm sure you guys like forgot who I am, so let me introduce myself. I'm Asma, I'm first year in Dawa Medical College, and today I decided that let's do a study with me. I'm just about to start my respiratory module, which is roughly like four to five weeks. Um, and in that module, this video is going to be based on how I initially like study for it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I wake up one hour before class starts. So usually at 8 because my class starts at like 9, 9.30ish. Um, and as soon as I wake up, I really don't want to get out of bed. So I will listen to a podcast that I saved the night before. And it's usually something motivating. So I really look forward to listening to it. And I'll just listen to it and feel so like energized in 15-20 minutes. Before, I used to just check my messages, start scrolling on Instagram, and then I would go somehow end up on youtube and watch so many videos i would spend like one or two hours just just doing that and i would feel so unproductive and so demotivated to even like start the day so making that small change really made a huge difference then i go ahead and have my breakfast for the day usually me and my grandma we have it together and she makes an amazing amazing omelet so usually after breakfast my lectures start at 9 30 um, and I personally like to record them and watch them later and then I go and check my syllabus that I made usually we get guidelines or um, chapters that we have to read during that module so I just compile them and write them in one big paper and I just uh, just divide them up over time so then I make a to-do list for that following day and start on my lectures that I plan on watching so usually I go for Dr. Najib or Pathoma and I watch them from 9 to 12 then I decided to do my reading for that day usually this first week we had a lot of anatomy lectures so I went ahead with KLM and just started reading the thorax chapters a lot of seniors recommended that I have my Nutter's Atlas right beside my textbook so I can look at the pictures but I personally prefer going over a digital atlas. I really like the pin option where I can kind of quiz myself at the same time while I'm learning. So that's just what I did. But again, everyone loves Netter, so if that's what you want, you can totally go ahead with that. After that, I decided to go over the muscles of the foot. Even though we just got done with upper and lower limb, I still have a very, very bad time with the hand and the foot muscles and anatomy in general. So I decided that I'll spend like 20, 25 minutes just going over the concept one more time. And after this, I my lectures usually end, so I run and I mean run and go eat my lunch because I'm so hungry at this point. Um, and I didn't film that part because um, I was too busy eating the lunch, I guess. So um, maybe next time. So now comes the most important thing I do, which is I have to go through the slides for each and every lecture I had for that day. So I will open up my textbook to the corresponding slides, look at the lecture objectives and write a small summary of what's important and what I should be learning. And then I will read the slide and then re read the textbook along with that and kind of just make my own notes. Today I was doing the histology of the respiratory system. Now, one of the last things I do is go over Anki. Some seniors recommended it, so it's kind of my my first time trying it out I downloaded some pre-made decks and I kind of just did that for 20 minutes just to see how it is and get a feel of everything that's going on in it can't really say much about it because this is literally the first time I'm trying it out but that's what I decided to see now at this point because I've been studying since 9 in the morning 
So what I decide to do now is what any person my age would do. I go in my room, I stare out the window, and I turn the AC on. Now the last thing I do is attend the online workshop. That's something I really like about online education system is usually when we did have a workshop in university I would have to struggle with transport, struggle with fitting it into my schedule because of course transport, getting there, getting back also takes time. So now that everything is online I can just enjoy it. Here I made a comfy little spot um, and I made some chai that looked a little bit nasty and I just watched my workshop. And that's about it. That was the end of my study with me. After that, I just spend the evening however I want to. I usually play Ludo or do just, just do something. That's not studying because I can't study more than that, I'll be honest with you. Um, and that's about it. I hope you liked the video.